and the tests were made endlessly. Tallulah Bankhead, a southerner and sometime friend of Jock Whitney, was the first of the 32 actresses who did screen tests for the part. What is it? I love you. <laughs> I'm in love with you, Ashley. I love you. I love you. I love you. David Selznick was a publicity genius. I love you. He knew the search for Scarlet would be a grand entertainment and a way of keeping public interest alive in a film which as yet he had neither the money, the script, nor the nerve to make. I'm in love with you, Ashley. All right, now. Love Camera! You insulted me, Nellie Wilkson. You made Ashley and the others insult me. You know he wouldn't have gone home so soon if you hadn't dragged him. Oh, I saw you. This is one scene that never made it into the picture. Cukor was using it to test actresses for Melanie. So he would have insulted me like everybody else did. Oh, mercy, I didn't mean to hurt you. Oh, mercy, no, I didn't mean to hurt you. Why, you're my own sister. Why? You're my own sister. Go on, darling. You're my own sister, darling. My, my own Charlie's widow and I. I'm sorry you're hurt, my dear. And I'm so sorry you're hurt, my dear. No Melanie impressed in but these I tests. But I can't meet Governor Bullock or any Republican or any scallywag. But one scarlet in stayed in Selznick's mind. Not even Paulette Goddard. Or even if I have to be rude. Are you criticizing my friends? Honestly, sir, you don't love me. No, I don't love you. That's a lie. All right, even if it is a lie. Do you think I can run away and leave Melanie and the baby? Break Melanie's heart? Well, you, you couldn't leave your father. Oh, I girl. could leave them. I'm sick of them, tired of them. I know you're sick and tired. That's why you're talking this way. But I'm going to help you. I won't always be so awkward. There's only one way you can help me. Take me away! There's nothing to keep us here. Nothing except honor. I saw the Lana Turner Melvin Douglas test. I think that Turner is completely inadequate. Too young to have a grasp of the part, apparently. I'm afraid we'll have to forget her. I think that Douglas gives the first intelligent reading of Ashley we've had. Oh, my dear. But I think he's entirely wrong in type, being oh, much dear, too beefy physically. Know. It makes the Leslie Howard matter even more vital and pressing. Oh, Ashley, I could make you so happy. Anyway, Melanie can. Well, Dr. Fontaine says that Melanie can't give you any more babies than I could. I can give you... You to forget that, dear 12. Well, I can't forget it. Can you forget it? Can you honestly say you don't love me? No, I don't love you. It's a lie. Even if it is a lie, do you think I could go off and leave Melanie and the baby? Break Melanie's heart? You couldn't leave your father and the girl. Oh, I and... could leave them. I'm sick of them. I'm tired of them. I know you're sick and tired. That's why I'm talking this way. I'm going to help you. I won't always be so awkward. There's only one way you can help me. Take me away. There's nothing to keep us here. Nothing. Except honor. I see. Oh, you love me. Say it. Say it. Say it. You love me. I've looked at the Goddard test, the one she made with Jeffrey Lynn, practically daily since it arrived. And I must say that each time I see it, I am more and more impressed. As much work as possible should be done with her. Selznick, five. Five, speed. Oh, Ashley, I was wondering where you're keeping yourself. And to think of just running into you like this. You work for more gentry, more quiet, more mood. Oh, Ashley, I've been wondering where you're keeping yourself. And to think of just running into you like this. You know, it seems so long since we've had a good talk together. I don't know. What's more, boy? Your face is so hard. Is it? You relax now. Oh, Ashley. It seems such a long time since we've had a good talk together. I was wondering why you're keeping yourself. And I think you're just running into you. All right. And you want to show the back of the thing? Yes. You want to turn around, not turn around. Well, goodbye now. <laughs> Oh, I never fainted in my life. Wouldn't do you no harm if you did faint, if you want to catch your husband. I'll catch your husband. You put on the dress. What's my honey going to wear? That. 
No, me wait. You ain't going to show your bosom for three o'clock in the afternoon. Come I sure am going to tell you more. <laughs> It's narrowed it down to Joan Bennett. To oh, yes, and you is. You's going to eat every mouthful of this. No, I'm not. No, Jean Arthur, no, Paulette, no, and Vivian no, Lee. Now, suck it. <clears throat> now, suck in. Suck in. Keep the shawl on the shoulders. Oh, creepers. Keep the shawl on the shoulders. I ain't even free to get all freckled after the buttermilk I done put on you all this winter bleaching them freckles you got on the beach at Savannah. Oh, now, Miss Scarlet. Come on and be good and eat just a little for man. Come on, honey. I'm going to have a good time today and do my eating at a barbecue. I ain't aiming to have you to go for Mr. Wilkes and eat like a field hand and gobble like a hog. Mother's a lady and she always eats at parties. When you get mad, you can eat too. Fiddle-dee-dee. Mother's a lady and she always eats at parties. When you get mad, you can eat too. Ah, fiddle-dee-dee. Ashley Wilkes says he likes to see a girl with a healthy appetite. Oh, fiddle-dee-dee. Ashley Wilkes told me he likes to see a girl with a healthy appetite. What gentlemen say and what they think is two different things. Mother's a lady and she always eats at parties. When you get mad, you can eat too. Fiddly dee. Ashley Wells told me he liked to see a girl with a healthy appetite. What gentleman says and what they thinks is two different things. And I ain't noticed Mr. Ashley asking for to marry you. She was the perfect embodiment of this character we had been searching the world for. I don't you say, you coward. You're afraid to marry me. You'd rather live with that stupid old fool who can't open her mouth except say yes, no, and raise a pack of mealy mouth brats just like her. You mustn't say things like that about me. I please. mustn't be damned to you. Who are you to tell me I mustn't? And you made me believe that you wanted to marry me. That's not fair, Scarlett. Oh, I'm you did, you did. It's true, it's true. I hate you like 